Have you ever seen anything like this before? No? Any idea what we're looking at? Magnets. Magnets? Okay. Let's have a little look. So, we've got a wooden block there. Why do you think you might put a wooden block under a tube like that? What's it going to do? So they can roll down. So something can roll down it. Okay. Right. Here, I've got magnets and I've got ball bearings. Alright. So we've got three ball bearings on the end there. Okay. Now, Eleanor, what I'd like you to do is try. <laughs> That's the problem with ball bearings, isn't it? Pull off the end there. Is it easy? Okay. Put it back on. Right. Now, I'd like you to take off the first two ball bearings. Easier? Yeah. Sort of. Like. Try it again. Try one. Put it back. Try two. Harder. Now try three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's what's happening? It's getting harder. Why do you think it's getting harder? Not harder. More magnetic force, Josh. Quick go. First one. Okay. Second. <laughs> and the third one. Okay. So it gets harder. Why? So we're saying the force is stronger. Yeah? Why would the force be stronger? Because when the end one, the magnet has to go, the magnetic force has to go through the end. Okay. So we're looking at how close these ball bearings are to the magnet. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put these in here. Okay, we're going to tip them down a little bit. Tip them down to about here. Right. I'm going to put this ball bearing into here. Okay, and we should watch what happens at this end. So Josh, put this below. Watch it roll down. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Pushed it, pushed it that way. This ball bearing, did it manage to travel right the way back up here? No. No, it travelled part of the way up, didn't it? Right, we're going to have another little go. I'm going to put this in a slightly different place. Now, you know when you've got your steel pulled and the middle one stays in the sun, and that one goes there. Yes. Down, like that. Yeah, so again, you've got that force going through them, haven't you? So if we put this not quite as far down, what do you think might happen this time? It comes right there. It comes right there? Really? Yeah, let's see what happens. Yes, one or the other. One or the other, right. So we think it might go further. Yes. I don't know, like, you know when, because 
you were saying about how this more might make falls on you easier to put on. Yeah. It's not like that, like it's harder to put on it's just more magnets because it's closer. Okay, so Josh said, didn't he, that when we were trying to pull three off, the magnetic force was stronger because this one was closer to the magnetic force. Yeah? Okay. So you were saying if we did, if we got rid of one of these four bearings, what do we think might happen? See, this is you making a prediction. And what's very, very important whenever you do any science, there's never, ever any wrong or right. There's never. It's just whether you make a prediction. And you've always got to have the courage of saying, I've made this prediction, now let's just see. Yes? And of course, as a consequence of you making a prediction, it either will or will not happen. Yeah? Is that okay? Yeah. It's one of these really nice things. It takes sometimes, um, you know, people a lot of time to get their heads round. Um, having the fit of, I can say that, I did say this, you know, I can say that. No, I, no it's in print. You said this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It makes no difference. It's about playing. So, this time we've got one less ball there. One of these others to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you very much.